is going to be interesting hi my color pops welcome back to call this destiny if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by please don't be a stranger please hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you will see when I post a new video uh, I missed you guys and I had to kind of motivate myself back into recording I was away for a bit and I came back and I was just kind of in work mode taking clients and I didn't really turn on the camera that much um, I did however before I left get a request to do a an affordable um, makeup routine so here I am uh, I'm gonna do my best um, <laughs> I'm gonna do my best okay so uh, what I have here is is uh, you can actually go into the next store as well you can get into the drugstore as well you can buy this online so I'll use the NYX and I'm gonna show you sitting in my kitchen nurse or if I wanted a white background I don't know I mean it is white where I film but I don't know so this is going to be a quite interesting because I am using this little small beanie mirror. Didn't comb my hair. I didn't do much. I just thought, you know what? Stop procrastinating. You're not doing anything. Get on. Turn on the camera and get crack collecting, girl. So now that we got the primer out of the way, I did purchase a CoverGirl matte foundation in d15 not sure if it's my color have no clue but we're gonna figure it out right now Alrighty, this is gonna be very interesting i'm not used to this <laughs> let's tuck some of this hair behind here and let's get cracking Ooh. guess i should open it right Let's try it. pumping it on my hand first. Just take it. Okay, there we go. So that's what it looks like. It is not runny at all. It's pretty thick. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Well, it's a, I guess it's a pretty good match. not red or anything it's just the coverage is I guess full coverage medium to full it feels like it's buildable though as I'm getting messages coming through I can't deal right now I will not be distracted I will get this video out for you I mean, okay, so when I was away, a basically little mosquito bit me right here, and it didn't really cover it, but whatever. I'm going to be using concealer, so let's see what happens. I'm trying to basically mimic exactly how I would do my makeup regularly with my regular colors, my more high-end stuff. And this is a color that I would gravitate towards. Did I bring down a concealer brush? Did I bring down a concealer? Nicola, did you bring down a concealer brush? Girl, you have problems because you didn't bring a concealer brush down. It's okay. I'll just use my beauty blender because I will not be going back upstairs. It's already damp. So now I'm going to be using Dark Cocoa in the LA Girl Pro and I will be um, contouring with this. Ooh, this is uh, <laughs> too dark, but that's all I'm going to put so that I can blend it out gently. Yeah, let's 
too dark. So we're gonna make it work, girls. We're gonna make it work. Put that away, put that away, get out of my way. Did I bring a contour brush? <laughs> I'm such a mess. I thought I brought a contour brush. What is wrong with you, girl? Is there a little ant eating my stuff? I need to get it together. I'm going to be using this. Holy, this is dark. Holy, this is dark. And I literally only put a little bit. When you have to improvise, you improvise. It is too dark. I need to blend it out. It is way too dark. Man, I have to give myself props because I'm doing this with no lighting, an awful mirror, and the wrong brushes. <laughs> Honestly, this thing makes me look so muddy. It is so pigmented. Holy. So, if you have a darker complexion, this will be perfect for you for your contour. But for me, uh, no. And that's it, guys. No. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what do we have next? What do we have? Oh. I have the Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me um, Loose Finishing Powder in number 10. It says Fair Light. I don't know what it looks like either. So we're going to try this out. I will be donating these um, items to someone, not sure, because I don't use these. I mean, if I like something in there, I might keep it. So that is what the color looks like. It has like a banana color. There we go. Did I bring a brush? <laughs> I brought a brush. I know I did. There it is. <laughs> okay, so now let's set the concealer with, holy crap, this extra light powder. Actually, no, it's not extra light. It just needs to be blended out. There we go. I hope this video can be posted. <laughs> When I go back and edit, I hope it looks okay to be posted. Okay, no, I literally, it, it, honestly, the Maybelline Fit Me is pretty pigmented still because I only used a little bit and I'm tapping everything back out that you saw me use. I didn't use that much. Okay. Now I have a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. What number is this one? It's in Pecan 031. Oh, it's shiny. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, wait. Um, here we go. Um, I hope you can see this. But it's um, support. It's supposed to be a finishing powder as well. Let's see what this ends up looking like. Matches. The thing about drugstore foundation is you can't sample it. You kind of have to just take it home and hope for the best. You have to have a good eye and be able to eyeball what you're purchasing. 
on the fly. Purchase the wrong stuff and you will be looking like a duppy. Anybody doesn't know what a duppy is, it's a ghost. You'll be looking Casper friendly. Looks like, looks like, can work. All right, so for my eyebrows, I brought my LA Girl liner in brown. It's literally says brown. And I'm just going to do my brows. And this is how much I love you guys because I never do my brows with a pencil. But it's the cheapest version I could find. The cheapest thing for brows that I could find. So because it is so dark, sorry, okay, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. that was easy. I think I need to gravitate towards this method a little bit more because it's way faster. <laughs> 